Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Wednesday, 27 September from the DLC Summit in Detroit. We're sponsored by Howco Lighting, where they strive to be your first choice as a lighting technology partner. Here are the stories making news. Dialight released its half-year 2023 results. They are not pretty. Revealing a 9% revenue decline and gross margin also decreased to 29.6% from 34.9%. Additionally, they announced the departure of their CFO. U.S. Lighting Trends features a discussion with current lighting experts, including Carla Bukowski, highlighting key trends for lighting designers, lighting specifiers, and electrical contractors. Lightovation is introducing the first ever Metaverse Lighting Trend House at its January show. This groundbreaking initiative offers an immersive 3D experience for industry professionals, allowing attendees to explore lighting trends virtually as avatars. Floss has recently appointed Barbara Corti as its first Chief Creative Officer. She will oversee content creation across all online and offline channels. Her role begins October 2023. Lighting designer Thomas Patterson, director of Lux Populi, advocates for fellow lighting designers to take on at least one charitable project each year, underscoring the long-term benefits of such contributions. Read the full article at designinglightingglobal.com. Pure Edge Lighting is excited to introduce its innovative laser line lens and extension of its patent laser line product. This lens offers designers the ability to create perfectly diffused illumination for ambient uplighting, task lighting, and general illumination. Elite Lighting is currently hiring for two positions, a lighting product design engineer and a lighting product specification engineer. Details at Edison Report. The Dow and NASDAQ were down 388 points and 208 points respectively. Acuity dropped 71 cents. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.